Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will look at how you can use your package that you have previously published on NPM or how can people use it publicly once you have published it on NPM. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, these are the two packages that we have previously published on NPM and these are the same packages but with different names. So what I will do is I will go ahead and I will install this package and before we install it, you need to go into the package itself and see what the dependencies are. So as you can see over here, the dependency that we have is inquirer because this package actually used inquirer when we created that calculator. And if you have missed that video, just go into the description below and follow out that link. So over here, if we go back to the Visual Studio code, the first thing that we need to do before installing the package that we've created is to install the inquirer itself. So for that, we will follow the same steps that we have previously followed when we were doing the calculator video lesson. So the first thing is we will initialize NPM. And after you have done that, we will initialize TSC. Now, once that has been done, we will install the inquirer. And then we will install all the types in developer mode for the inquirer. Now, once that has been done, just recall that we change some of the configurations over here, changing ES2016 to ES2022. And then the module involves node next. And also the mode resolution was node next itself. After that, we have to go into the package.json file and create a type for using the module. Now, once that has been done, you know that you need to create an index.ts file because the main file name over here is index.js. Now, once that has been done, what we will do is we will now go ahead and install our package with our package name. So if you remember, our package name was basic calculator dash code in piece. So I will just copy this name and just paste it over here and hit enter. And you can see over here that the package has been installed successfully. So what I will do is I will now go ahead and import and inside the double quotation, I will give our package name. So you can see over here, it pops up our package name. Just import it, go ahead and compile the code. Let's clear it out and run our code now. And here you can see it asks you for entering the first number. And if you remember that this is the same code that we created the package for and that was for the basic calculator. So I will enter one of the numbers, then the second number. And then you can see we have the same drop down menu for selecting the operator. So just select one of the operator. Let's say I want to multiply these numbers and you can see over here that we get the answer. Now the reason for only importing this is because all of the code is residing inside our main package itself. So we don't need to write any code over here because we already knew that our package contains a basic calculator code and that will run directly over here once you transpile it and run that JS file. So in the same way you can create multiple other packages for different codes that you have so that you can take advantage of code reusability with the same package. So with this I hope you have got an understanding of how you can use your package, how you can create your package, how you can publish it and how you can ask other to use your package by making it publicly available over the npmjs.com website. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this.